Now, suppose I do want to use more than one boiler. This is what I did in that house in Upper Montclair, New Jersey. So when you're doing primary, secondary, which is what we have here, the primary circulator in the main line always gets the compression tank, the real compression tank. The secondary circulators here see this common piping, this T, as their compression tank. So we always want to pump down, in this case, into the boiler and away from that common piping point, which is the secondary pump's compression, uh, point of no pressure change, it's compression tank. So there again, if I have non-condensing boilers, I want to blend some of the hot boiler water over here to bring the temperature and the return above 140 degrees to prevent condensation inside of a boiler that's not a condensing boiler. So this is a good way to go because here I'm taking the same supply temperature into both boilers off of my primary. So if this were coming in at say 150 or 160 degrees, no matter which boiler was operating, we'd be dealing with 160 degrees going into that boiler. Another way that it's done is like this, where we're hanging the boilers like curtains on a rod. This isn't as good because let's say this is looking for 180 degree water and this, this first boiler comes on and it brings the water from say 160 up to 175. So now the water in this pipe is 175 degrees. This guy over here brings the 175 down and brings it up to 180. So this one's going to be running nicely. This one's going to be short cycling like crazy. So if I do it the other way, where I'm using manifolds to keep the temperature going to both boilers the same, I avoid this challenge that you run into when you hang the boilers like curtains on a rod.